Joy to me is it's momentary. You feel it in that moment and then it passes. But I think that in order to feel joy for myself, it's this twofold piece. It's a physical and a mental thing. Joy to me, it is the creative process. It's starting from wondering and exploration and going places I haven't been before. Being in that no man's land of I'm not sure where I am, but I know this is really exciting. I was actually very, very excited to be matched with Barb. She has the most beautiful, vibrant, whimsical, sometimes moody art, and it just seemed to capture everything that I feel as a survivor. I mean, there's those bright days and there's those moody, gloomy days, and I had a feeling right away that she'd be able to capture something. I think the process that Firecracker is doing now of bringing artists together with survivors is a very powerful tool. There's personal symbolism involved, and then you can make that real for other people. So you can make something that's inside of somebody, you can make it tangible, and you can make it accessible for people that might not be able to hear a story or understand a story. They might not even know the story when they're done looking at the piece, but they know that they felt something. With this project, you know, the goal was to exhibit joy in the image, so I had to really lean on the things that cause us to think of joy, color, facial expression, and really a juxtaposition of bright color versus darker colors. It's a lot of energy when you're working with someone who's sharing such a powerful story of overcoming great trauma. This cause is important to me because I, I love kids, I work with kids. The idea of another child maybe seeing this art and not feeling so alone, that's joyful to me. I wouldn't trade this opportunity for anything. If you can make somebody know more about what this is all about through this, it's worth doing. I think it's a really powerful tool.